Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off with contacts already in my eyes. These guys are from Pinky Paradise. And since we're doing an evil clown, I decided to go with some white contacts. This cat is just like, he can't get enough. I think he just likes the warmth of the lights. So anyway, putting my hair back and I'm starting with some Smashbox primer water just to prime my face. For this look, I'm going to be using Makeup Forever Color Sticks. I really like these creams because they wash off really nicely. They last a long time, but then they're super easy to wash off. Some creams, it's like you cannot get them off no matter how many cleansers and different types of, you know, washes you use. But these, they come off beautifully. So I'm applying the white all over my face, and then I'm just going to buff that in with a brush and I'm not really trying to make it look perfect. I want it to look a little bit rough because I want this clown to look a little bit, you know, worse for wear. I'm also bringing that all the way down my neck as well. Um, depending on, you know, how far down you want it, bring it down as far as you want. After I have applied the white everywhere I want it and it's kind of, you know, patchy and rough looking, I'm then going to just take a little bit more and apply it throughout my brows and on some areas just to build it up just to make it look super uneven and give me more of that look and texture that I'm wanting. Then I'm going to grab this gray, it's a nice cool tone gray, and I'm going to do a little bit of contouring and adding just some shading with this. So I'm going on my cheekbones, I'm going to go on top of my eyes, below my eyes. I feel like I kind of look like a Frenchman right now. <laughs> anyway, um, and this is just going to add some, you know, depth and some color to my look. And I'm just going to keep blending it out and adding more white, adding more gray, and patting it in and blending it with my fingers and as well with the brush. And then I'm dragging some of that down my neck as well and on my collarbones just to add, again, some dimension and some color. And after I've blended out the first layer, I want to go back in and create some more harsh lines just so there's different variations of the color, kind of like what I did with the white as well, because I want to see some of the actual lines. So I'm, you know, striping it down and kind of blending it out with my fingers. And I'm going to be going in with some jumbo pencils and don't get me wrong you can totally use jumbo pencils for the whole look I just personally have the sticks by makeup forever so it's easier now I'm going to take black bean jumbo pencil and I'm going to put this in my waterline and all around my eyes like I said this is a scary you know creepy clown and what's great about this type of makeup for Halloween is it doesn't have to be perfect and really anything you do is going to look crazy and creepy and like it was meant to be there and meant to happen. So I applied the black around my eyes and I popped some of the white out on my eyes, applied this on my lips, blending that out on my cheekbones, down my nose, and now I'm just drawing this little, you know, esophagus bit on my neck here and I'm just really blending that out. Next, I'm going to be taking this liner from NYX Cosmetics. I just like how it's a thicker liner. Prepping the outside corners of my mouth with some black bean double pencil. And then I'm just striping this liner on either side. And I'm taking it pretty far as well. And then I'm just going to put some on my lips, blend that out. And I'm also going to drag this up on my cupid's bow to give me a super defined cupid's bow look there. I just think it makes it look so creepy. Then I'm also going to be dragging this through my eyes as well. So I'm going to go down on each cheekbone and then I'm going to go up above my brow as well. 
I also decided I wanted to add a little bit, you know, more messiness to this. So I'm just striping over it, kind of like winging it out in little bits as well, just to make it look, I, I want it to look really imperfect and almost like it's been wet and watercolored. Then I'm going in with this Kat Von D liquid lipstick and this is going to go on, you guessed it, on my nose. So I'm just patting this in my nose for my little red clown nose and then I'm just going to blend that out really roughly with a brush and I'm also bringing some of that onto my mouth as well because I want to carry that redness just throughout my face so it's not only specifically on my nose and I'm going to take a little bit of the milk jumbo pencil and apply that on the tip of my nose just as a highlight On my neck, I'm just blending in some more colors again, just to layer the different colors on and make it look disgusting and worn. I also put a little bit of that liquid lipstick on my eyeballs just to, again, carry the red throughout because I didn't want it only on my eye. Then I'm taking my nail and actually dragging it in my wrinkles and it kind of gives you these like crow's feet kind of look. <laughs> How embarrassing, oh my god. And then I'm just taking some of that color, the black bean and then the milk jumbo pencil and I'm just blending that into my hairline. Um, for my hair, I just decided I was going to back comb the crap out of it. Why am I doing my hair? I'm just adding more of this lip pencil or this lip color to my eyes okay anyway back to my hair I'm just back combing the crap out of it you know I'm a freaky clown I feel like my hair would look disgusting like this don't you think Now I'm taking the Fenty Beauty, this is the eyeliner, and this is super, super black and it has a really fine tip. So I'm just going over those lines one more time just to add a little bit more definition and I'm just, you know, swiping everywhere that I feel like it needs a sharper line. It's time to turn the lights out and I'm going to back on my hair a few more times just because I just can't get enough of that. Now for my teeth, for this look, I wanted to make them look a little gross. So I'm taking this teeth whitening charcoal and this is what I've been doing. Um, I feel like it's a really neat little trick. It makes your mouth dry though. And I'm just brushing that onto my teeth to make them look disgusting. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with some primer water. Then I'm just gonna speckle my face. I was going to use an actual paint for this, but I thought uh, I may as well just use this. You know, use what you have. So I'm speckling this on my face. It gives you a nice little texture um a little bit more you know creepy look it, it just i just love speckling it just adds a little bit you know something i can't think of the word it adds something leave it the comment down below to tell me what it what it does to makeup okay <laughs> then i'm going to take a little bit of the cinema secrets fx blood and i'm just going to apply that on my mouth because this clown i don't know i don't know why his mouth is bleeding i don't know why i'm a boy either anyway <laughs> thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next video